Toronto. I am sure that there are people here that have gone to a store and have bought one of those pair of pants that says one size fits all. You buy them, you take them home, you try them on, and then you realize that one size don't fit all. Well, same thing goes with critiques. When you critique a speech, it's not the same as when you critique a live play. They might have their similarities, such as a speech will have several points, a live play will have several acts. They both deliver a message, but the delivery method is different. Today, I will speak about a speech I attended at Bird's Restaurant in Lakewood with the Lakewood United Club, a live play that I attended at the Knudsen Family Theater in Pedro Way, and I will also want to take the time to speak about some of the distinctions between theater and cinematography. First than anything, I want to talk about that speech at Bird. This speech was given on Thursday, this past Thursday, at 7 a.m. The speaker was Gary Chandler, who's the Vice President of Government Affairs at the Association of Washington Business. He has a well-defined speech. He spoke well. He had defined points, such as the Washington state budget, the Washington state economy, and our relationship to the federal budget. Now, there were some things that I noticed, things that I would never have noticed before I took this class. Okay. He was very monotonic, only one tone of voice throughout the whole speech. He spent the whole speech sitting behind the table. He moved back and forth between two different <coughs> points. It seemed that he kept remembering things from the first point so he went from the second point back to the first point, back to the second point, then remember something else again from the first point, and that made it kind of confusing. And another thing, he would have helped himself having some type of aids, which he didn't have any, because those aids will have prevented him from having to do what he had just explained. It did remind me a lot of watching the news on TV. Some guy behind a desk, just on a same tone of voice telling you what's going on. Well, the thing is this. We have critiqued a lot of speeches in this class. So I really don't want to spend my time critiquing a speech. Therefore, I'm going to spend most of my time critiquing the play that I went to. The name of the play is What the Butler Saw, and it was written by Joe Olsen and directed by Cynthia White. Uh, as I said, explained before, it was at the Knudsen Theater, uh, Knudsen Family Theater in Federal Way. <coughs> the play was really good. It started very fast. And it was that way throughout the whole, the whole play. I think that at the beginning it was a little rushed. Maybe it's because it was the last time that they were presenting that play. But they hit their stride. And at that point, the play was wonderful. I would have to say that one of the things I want to explain about a live play is that more than a play, it's a social experience. When I arrived, before the play started, I met this lady called Barbara. Her name is Barbara. I am sorry, I do not remember her last name. Very nice lady. We talked about theater. We talked about plays that we have seen in the past. We talked about life or children. And the, the play started. During intermission, we went to the lobby. She introduced me to other people from the theater, theater goers which we kind of 
made it a social point. We had some wine. We saw some exhibits that were being displayed by local artists. And, and that is what I mean by having a social experience. That is one of the big difference between live theater and cinematography. Let me speak a little bit about cinematography. Cinematography came to be a child of the 19th century. And people really loved it because up to that point, the only game in town was live play. Now you can distribute a film and make it open throughout the whole country on the same day. You have specific players that now are known throughout the country because they don't have to go from town to town to town but they go to every town one day. As cinematography grew we added sound, we added color, we added grandiose displays and the latest thing is uh, the high definition the high definition 3D. Well, there's a couple of things about high definition 3D. Still, it's not the real thing. I want to point out what Hector Babenko, a film di director, explained once. Curiosity doesn't matter anymore. These days, people don't want to be transported to emotional territories where they don't know how to react. Basically, what he's dealing with this is that we are becoming desynthetized clones. We are just going through the same thing, through the same paces all the time. Another quote that I would like to say, or that I would like to point out, is a quote from Arthur Miller. He's an American playwright playwright, sorry. The theater is so endlessly fascinating because it's so accidental. It's much like life. Hmm. Basically what he's saying is that two plays are never the same. As in the movie, the same reel is the same reel. It took me two steps to get here. In a play, I might take the two steps, but maybe a trip. Something is going to happen in every play that people have to adjust. And that is what life is. You adjust. Come on, somebody. One, one of the things that I would like to point mm -hmm. is I urge everybody that has not been to a live play to go and experience <coughs> it. It is it might be a little bit out of your norm, but it's worth going and learning what the experience is. And if this is what you really enjoy, it wouldn't hurt for you to also tell your friends, look, you should go see this play. It's worth going and taking a look at it. At this time, I want to reiterate Hit the wrong button here. There it goes, this time. That I hope to have achieved the three points I wanted to make. I wanted to get the explanation about the uh, at a speech I attended at Burns Restaurant at the Lakewood United with the Lakewood United Club. The live play I attended at the Kenosha Theater and the distinctions between the theater and cinematography. That was the second time. Uh, at this point, again, I want to say, get people to go to the theater. It's an experience that you're not going to forget. <laughs>